In this video, we metal detect the winter beach. We have these mysterious boxes that show up. And this might be the last time you see such an unprofessional background. The winter beach. How does all that black sand show up? You might want to turn down the volume for a second. Wind. On some YouTube channels, it uncovers treasure chests. This ain't that channel. On any given beach, you have coins at different depths. But then, you get a windy day. This guy comes around, and what happens? This is not Pixar. Watch how the different layers become one layer. Because that was an A-plus animation, we're gonna look at it again. I'm not saying that the coins blow into one pile. What I'm saying is that there's different layers at the beach. And in this case, it's coins. The light sand blows away. And all of these layers consolidate. And what's left after all of the layers consolidate or collapse on one another? The heavy sand and objects. Let's take a look at it again. Use your imagination a little bit. You have multiple layers of objects. Mr. Wind comes in. He makes wind erosion and the light sand blows into the water or wherever else on the beach. And what you very often get are surface finds and a really tricky setting to metal detect, black sand. In terms of where you see this phenomenon with the sand blowing, it's gonna be far back on the beach. The sand has to be dry to move. I mean, the water will move wet sand, of course, but in terms of the wind blowing it, it's going to be far back on the beach. Well, it's the next to last day of 2023. It's been a pretty good year. And we're ending it on the beach. So, uh, let's see how we do. Well, we got signals, 90. We got a uh, red penny right here and uh, 1972, good sign. Uh, I got some green on it. Uh, so this has been exposed to the elements for a while. Now, one thing I forgot to mention, see the black sand here? Uh, XP uh, thought of that and they have something to mitigate that so oh my goodness I've been learning a lot uh, emailing back and forth with the XP team and uh, one of the things that can really help you on the beach when there's black sand is if you push this button and there is magnetic accept or reject it's actually in the reject position now I think the default is accept, but what you would do in the case of black sand, reject. So it's gonna reject all of this black sand. And the fact that we got a target right walked on the beach, uh, there's levels of targets that are here. And the black sand will uh, mitigate a lot of the depth that you could get. XP thought about that. We got signals. I heard another one over here. Let's see, where was it? That one turned out to be a dime, but we get some good stuff. Keep watching. Well, this was a target ID of 84, and it's a key, and it was uh, on the slope of the beach. So, let's go. This was late December, but let me tell you, January has been bonanza with these storms that have passed through on the east coast of the United States. But, it started on days like this where you get a little bit of a pickup on the waves and you see that slope on the beach. Beaches have many levels and uh, you want to get to the lowest ones. You could imagine heavy objects sinking down and it's really when you get big storms that you get the push in. Uh, the average waves, you know, it's going to make stuff sink. But uh, when there's big events, you get that big push in onto the beach. That only happens a few times per year. Um, over the last few weeks, that has happened. This was before that. 93, 94 down by the way. I found a few of these before. I've always uh, wondered, is this a bullet? What is this? Yeah, that's gotta be a bullet. Not a common one though. Ooh, mid-tone, 52. And it is a nickel. This is a good sign. Look at this, people. Connected to some iron corrosion. That's a bottom. No, this, this is a bottom right here. 
in the year of the dredge, it's taken this long to get back to these levels. All of my beaches have gone through beach replenishment this year to stop erosion. And while it's good, you know, to prevent flooding, oh, it's lousy for metal detectorists. Basically, that means that there is a ship or platform and a long pipe that brings sand from out here onto the beach. Now, here's the conflict of interest. Metal detectorists, we like low beaches. But what does beach nourishment or replenishment do? It pumps sand onto the beach. No! Jumping around and I do hear some iron in this. Another one of these, and if you notice in here, uh, I'm battling iron. So what I did was I moved up the reactivity. Usually I have it at zero, moved it up to one. Jump the gun, didn't need to do that. This is what you dream of. This is what you dream of. 49 repeating. Well, it's an old piece of metal. 45. We saw some coins that were clearly exposed to the elements for a long period of time, but what about heavy objects? Oh, it's game on. We just got a fishing weight, and this one looks like it has been exposed to the elements for a long time. That is a great sign. It's a great sign because heavy objects mean you could be on a low beach. 85, 86, 87, right by that fishing weight. Unfortunately, there were many objects that were pulled in by the dredge. Yeah, how do I say this? People bust a lot of caps in fish. Why are you son of a... You've heard of the silver bullet. Oh, this is the golden bullet. This was a mid-tone dredged in metal. Yeah, look at this. Uh, this was something huge that was just dredged in. We were getting these like weird little nuggets. That's strange. Dime, 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 another. So here's the situation. I'm at a beach that is recovering from being dredged and I'm getting a lot of targets that you would see when you're at the bottom. I don't think it's quite there yet. We're not quite at the bottom. We're getting stuff mixed in with the iron. We're getting modern coins too, so we can infer that uh, you could get uh, a modern ring, you could get something like that. Um, the older stuff has settled, uh, washed away, like a layer of this dredging has washed away. Um, but what we got to do is we have to like really listen to the target. So I'm going to actually turn up my headphones. I'm going to listen to the amplitude of the target. I see you. Yes, we did. There we go. There we go. Whoa. Well, that's pretty cool. Look, it's a face. Well, if nothing else, this was unique. I've never gotten one quite like this, so we are gonna put it in the collection. It's not made from any uh, valuable metals. It's not really heavy, but you know what? It's pretty cool. It's different, so we'll celebrate that. It's a change, and uh, on to the next. Just food for thought we've done. Tackle Bell has been unlocked for years. What am I thinking, okay? Like tamales, Christmas tamales. I know Christmas has passed by the time I uploaded this video, but look at this. Honestly, this is a lot better than Taco Bell. Just saying. As for the rest of the day, it was fun, but quiet. I got another junk ring and uh, this cool wheel of an old car. And uh, then something that I thought was gold. And true to form, I remember thinking to myself, hey, let's end the year on a piece of gold. But then, uh, then I tested it. This does have an engraving, but it's just a iced out butterfly. Um, let me show you the engraving just in case. Yep, there is the engraving. And just the look of this, that's the look of plating. That was gold plated. Hi, bro. Yeah, your part is coming. You might have noticed that I've uploaded like one video in the past month. It's a time of change. I know you're nervous about the boxes, bro. These boxes. They are from XP and I'm going to open them.
Hmm, lots of shirts. They must know I have sweat problems. Oh my goodness. We got the ORX here with the high frequency coil. That is something that I am really, really looking forward to using and mastering. Oh, big coil. It's blinky. Look at that. Even though it was just shipped to me, it's got a charge. Pouch. Going to be using this. Gold pan. So cool. Wireless headphones. Whoa. The next frontier. Merrill goes underwater. Whoa. But the one that everyone is excited about, Extreme Hunter. This is my first look at it. Oh my goodness. Long story short, I'm trying to up my game on many levels. In video making, in coping with the challenge of being a teacher and being an XP ambassador. I want to keep the viewers of this channel happy and engaged. I want to learn all of the XP products absolutely cold, but that takes time. And then I start looking at the XP videos and the beautiful intros that have been done on that channel by Gary and uh, others who are affiliated with XP. And then you remember that you invented metal detecting rap and the cat gods. Shit. So uh, XP got me some new equipment also. Yeah, this is called a wind microphone, Merrill. We could have used it in this video. Um, yeah, but that's coming soon. And here is a look at the new background. Of course, I forgot to take uh, those papers off, but uh, we have some new toys. I think there's probably going to be some movement of this and uh, I'm finally going to frame and put up uh, some of my best metal detecting finds, throw a desk here, maybe change the floor, maybe paint, but uh, there's a lot going on in my mind and that's just with metal detecting right now. But the good news is I'm up for this challenge and I know how to cope. I just use my metal detector. I've been going out without my camera and without the intention of making videos just to unwind and it netted me my first piece of gold for the year. 14K hula hoop. Interesting soldering lines, but I cleaned a few of those and uh, let's see. Yep, right here. Those wipe off and uh, we got some gold tested positive and first one of 2024 so just know i'm good i'm just growing and uh, very soon you're going to see my first drop the mic video on the xp channel so uh, please subscribe here also hit that subscribe button on xp and i thank everybody for their patience during this transition again i'm good but when you grow, sometimes you gotta go slow. That's exactly what's happening. But we're gonna speed it up very soon. Thanks for watching.